Hello everyone, how are you? Here they know what happened on Friday Night Smackdown during the main event by August the 5th, 2022. On main event this week, Omos took on Elias. I started watching the match, hoping Elias would do something. Three minutes of the match, it was all Omos just destroying Elias, so I changed the channel. I flipped it back over like five minutes later, and apparently Omos had won the match. The other match of main event is worth watching, folks. It was T-Bar against Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander in his corner. So is Cedric still with Shelton and Mustafa Ali? Is, is he going to be a partner for both guys? I'm kind of confused there. Um, T-Bar went for high justice. Um, Benjamin countered it, hit a nice springboard clothesline to knock him down. Um, he ran at him. T-Bar hit the spinning big boot he does. Uh, backbreaker. Sidewalk slam. Sean Benjamin ended up winning the match after reversing a suplex into a neck breaker. Then he hit the stinger splash of the corner. Then he hit a German suplex. And as T-Bob was getting up from that, he hit pay dirt for the one, two, three. Now on to SmackDown. The Viking Raiders defeated a bunch of jobbers within a couple minutes. After that, Kofi Kingston attacked him with a Kindle stick. And challenged one of them to a match. Eric of the Viking Raiders accepted the challenge, so... Kobe took on Eric of the Viking Raiders. This was your main event match, by the way. Very short match, which I was disappointed in because the way they've been building this rivalry up, they sure this match should have been longer than it was. Kobe had a nice um, top rope cross body, um, springboard clothesline. Um, Eric caught him coming at him and just freaking kneed him right in the face. Like jumped up knee, just floored him. Um, then he hit a power slam. Um, Eric went for other power slam. Kobe reversed it, stole the win for the one, two, three. He took off because Arvar got mad because Kobe just stole the win, ran in with the Kindle stick. So probably next week could probably be Kobe versus Arvar, which will probably be a longer match, probably, I hope. Um, Nakamura took on Nudwig with Walt to a ringside. So this is three times these guys have faced each other within a month. Uh, well, I, it was supposed to be a why her radar online was Nakamura versus Walter for the Intercontinental Championship, but apparently they changed that match to next week. Very good match between Nakamura and Ludwig. Don't get me wrong. I was just looking forward to Nakamura versus Walter for a change. Um, very good match. Um, as soon as that bell rang, Ludwig um, started throwing punches. Back in Nakamura to a corner. Just started. Dropping elbows and punches on top of Nakamura's head and then booting them in the corner. Nakamura got mad. Tossed Ludwig in the same corner. Just unloaded on him. Then good vibrations. Nakamura went for King Sasuke and, and Ludwig countered with a huge uppercut as Nakamura was running at him. That was awesome to see. Um, Ludwig went for a power slam or a, a, bad, a sidewalk slam. He's going for something. Nakamura countered into an Arbor submission hold. And as Ludwig got free of that, Nakamura just, just that quick blasted him with King Sasuke for the 1-2-3. And I noticed, Walter, after the match, did not punish Ludwig for losing. He did not chop him. That was interesting. Baron Corbin took on Ricochet. This match started off the show, folks. Great match. Check it out. Must see action. Uh, Ricochet hit a metal rope. Uh, cross body, top rope, clothesline. Um, he went off the ropes again, and Corbin seen a comment and just floored him with a clothesline. Caught some ricochet coming down. That was awesome. Then a uh, deep six for a two and a half count. Um, ricochet again ran all ran across the ropes. Uh, Corbin again caught him. Huge back body drop. Like freaking ricochet went up in the air, folks, and crashed. That looked nasty. Um. Ricochet started hitting body shots. Um, Corbin went outside the ring. Did you know when he runs in, runs outside, slides back in, does a clothesline. Ricochet caught him coming. Recoil kick. Then um, went up at the top rope. Corbin um, tossed him off the top rope. Corbin went to do a move, and Pat McAfee on commentary distracted him. Now that allowed Ricochet to knock Corbin off the top rope. Stum. Shooting star press off the top rope. One, two, three. Ricochet picked up the win. Great match, like I said. It was a real good match. Um, 
Last match that happened on SmackDown was a Gotten Them match. Um, the winner will face Liv Morgan at Clash of the Castle for the SmackDown Women's Championship because Ronda Rousey's storyline suspended. I did not appreciate the fans booing Liv Morgan already. That isn't cool. Like, okay, Liv Morgan beat Ronda Rousey. Yeah, there was controversy on that. But to boo her already, that, come on now, fans. Like, come on. One man you're cheering for, her, just because of that one thing, you're going to boo her now. Well, the week before, you're booing Ronda Rousey. What are you going to do? Cheer for her now? Um, the Gauntlet match started off with Aliyah versus Sonya Deville. Um, Sonya Deville quickly applied a headlock. Aliyah broke free of a jawbreaker. A crossbody off the metal rope. Sonya caught her. Shining Wizard eliminated Ali. Ali, I'm sorry. Then Regal Gonzalez came out. And this was the Gauntlet match went to shit, folks. And I'll tell you why. She um, just destroyed Sonya Deville. Shoulder tackles in the corner. Hit a top rope. Spin elbow drop. Followed up with a one eye power bump. Got rid of Sonya Deville. Chelsea Blackheart came out next. Bam. Regal quickly eliminated her with a top rope. Um, spin elbow drop. Followed up with a one eye power bump. Zaya Lee came out. Zaya Lee um, hit some kick strikes and a drop kick. Um, before she came out, Sonya Deville had chopped block Regal Gonzalez's leg. So Zaya Lee attacked the leg of Gonzalez. Like, jumped down on it, picked that thing up, dropped it down the mad canvas, applied a leg hold for quite a few minutes. No damage on the leg, right? Then Rizal Gonzalez gets up, hits a big boot, and again, she almost slips falling down doing that. She's got, if you can't do a big boot, don't do the goddamn move if you can't do it. Um, then she hit that top rope spin elbow drop, followed up with a one iron power bomb. Then Natalia came out. Natalia, a chop blocked the leg, worked on that, applied the sharpshooter for a good, like, three minutes. Regal got a hold of the bottom rope, bam, spinning top rope, elbow drop. Followed up with the one eye power bomb. Um, last person was Shayna Baszler. Shayna came out. I went right at the lag again. Um, Gonzalez went for that spinning top rope elbow drop. Shayna moved out of the way. Um, and it pulled, I got the one, two, three. So Shayna Baszler goes on to face Liv Morgan. The match was shitty because. Zia Lee, Shayna Baszler, and Natalia just destroyed the lag of you know, Gal Gonzalez. Just destroyed it. And she no sold the effect of it. Like she'd jump right back up and do that stupid two move combo. A top rope, a spin, elbow drop. Followed up with a one eye power bomb. If you can't sell that the other women worked their ass off for 15 minutes combined, roughly, beating the shit out of your leg, just. Been in that thing way he should be been. Kicking, stomping on it. Sharp shooter, ankle lock. A leg hold, like, you know, like working on the leg. And you just get up and do that two hard move combo and then just walk around and your leg's fine. That takes away from the work the other one did in the match. It takes away from it and that. And the excitement level. So I am not a big fan of Gal Gonzalez. I hope to God she goes back to NXT someday. I probably won't happen. Uh, also on SmackDown, Triple H rehired and Stephanie rehired Carrying Kar Cross. Yeah, that's our guy that should not have been rehired. He he's just a gimmick. The only thing working for him is Scarlett. She comes out because she's smoking hot, by the way. But that's not the point. She comes out, does the hourglass flip fame. She does the promos for him. The smoke and all that. Like, he's just a gimmick, but he can't wrestle. All he does is clotheslines and sleep hold. And a couple punches. No matter what you do with the guy, you can't. he can't get over with the fans. So why? Triple H Perry sees big fans for this guy. He was upset when Vince McMahon fired him earlier this year. So he brought him back. I, I just can't see why. I, I don't see what the potential is in him. Yeah, so on SmackDown, Chaffee, check out Ricochet versus Barry Corbin, Nakamura versus Ludwig. Um, the other two matches, you really did not miss nothing. I even recommend don't even watch the Gauntlet match until the very end where Shayna Baszler wins. 
because my gal just ruined it for me. And I, she's not the only one. I read online there's a lot of people, a fear, a fair amount of fans that were upset with her performance and that during the Gauntlet match. So I'm not the only one, folks. Stay safe, everybody. Too sweet. Bye.